Go Hokies, just saying. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my wedding dress shopping experience. It's gonna be more of like a story time type video. Um, I actually already recorded this video, but I didn't think that I really got all I wanted to say into the video. So I'm gonna talk um, a little bit about that because I did come kind of from a different um, I guess strategy would probably be the right word to use. Um, I was trying to do this as inexpensively as possible. So um, hopefully this will help you guys trying to shop for a dress. Maybe you're on a tight budget. Maybe um, you're not really finding what you are wanting in a bridal dress shop. I don't know, but um, I thought that this might be a little bit helpful because of um, the strategy that I was using when I was shopping for a wedding dress. And I will try as much as possible to um, insert photos of dresses that I tried on unless they looked absolutely heinous on me, which some of them honestly did. So um, what I was trying to do when I was shopping for dresses is I was trying to shop the National Bridal Sale event. So a little bit about the National Bridal Sale event, and I will link that down below for you as well, um, because it is, it's really cool. I mean, the concept is awesome. Um, with the National Bridal Sale event, um, bridal shops can choose to participate in it, and most of them are these independent types of boutiques. So you're not really gonna get like David's Bridal in there or anything like that. The bridal shops that you're going to be visiting are just kind of these boutique bridal shops. And so they can choose to participate in this event. And the thing about it is they have dresses that are like $2,500 dresses and they're marked down to like $250, $200, something like that. So it's pretty easy to find a budget dress um, or a, a dress that would have gone for a lot more money, but it's just marked down a ton, like basically to 10% of what it was going to cost. And some of them are still like $700, $800, $1,100, down from like 2,500. Um, but basically you kind of have this huge range of just dresses that are on sale. And there were a few dresses, dress shops around me that were participating and I was really, really excited. Um, so I kind of, before the actual sale, which was, in July, um, before the actual sale took place, I was kind of scoping out some bridal shops. Um, and so there's actually a bridal shop that's down the road from my office. And one day I got super, super restless and I was like, I'm just gonna go to this bridal shop, just pop in, see if I can try on some dresses. Maybe you see what they have because I know that they're participating in the sale. And um, maybe I can see what they have and maybe some of those dresses that I actually do like will be in the sale. So I went and um here's another thing to keep in mind too when you're shopping for wedding dresses is i had this picture in my brain of what i wanted and um it was basically and i'm going to insert a picture of the dress that i was thinking like this is the dress that i want um because you'll kind of be able to see how vastly i went away from that just from trying on dresses and seeing what looked good on me so the thing about trying on dresses is you have to be super open-minded about all of the dresses that they give you to try on. A lot of times bridal consultants really know what's going to look good on your body type. And so sometimes you just really have to trust them um, and just try on things that you normally wouldn't have looked twice at. So that's what I ended up doing. I went to this bridal shop and I was looking for something similar to, you know, the photo that you saw. And, um, they didn't really have anything like that, but I found this Allure dress, oh my gosh, and it was the most stunning kind of cool art deco kind of geometric type of lace. It is very, very different. And I fell absolutely in love with it. And I was like, I'm gonna try this on, this is amazing. So, um, and I'll insert a picture of that too, but I absolutely loved it, tried it on, and it looks absolutely heinous on me. Ugh. I can't even describe, like I won't even show you a picture of what that looked like because it was brutal. Um, and to be fair, it was a size that was too small for me. And that's another thing that you have to keep in mind when you're shopping for bridal dresses is you might be a size eight in your everyday wardrobe clothes, but you have to kind of go up two or three sizes when you're shopping for bridal dresses. That's just the way it is. For whatever reason, your true size is not going to be the size that your bridal dress is going to be. It's just not. Um, so I think that this one was like a size six or something and I'm like honestly like a size eight on a good day anyway it was brutal so um, but the bridal consultant was like oh what did you like about the dress and I was like okay well it's this kind of like bold print or not bold print but it's like a bold lace and it really stands out um, and it's graphic I guess is kind of how I described it 
Um, and she was like, okay, I see what you mean. I'm gonna bring you a couple dresses to try on, um, see what you think. And she brought me these like ball gown type of dresses and I was just like, this is going to probably be terrible, but I'm gonna try them on anyway. So I tried them on and I'll insert pictures of that too. Um, and I actually ended up absolutely loving them. I was like, what the heck? Like I, everything that I even thought I knew about what would look good on me and what I liked is totally just like erased because, um, because you just never know. So that's why you have to try on everything. So anyway, so I was talking to her and I was like, you guys are participating in the national bridal sale event. I'm going to come back and I'm going to try on, um, some more dresses. And, um, it was like probably a month from then. So then, um, so then I left, I made my appointment and I left. And a couple weeks after that, I ended up going up to Northern Virginia, just like on a whim, um, because my son was participating in a wrestling tournament. We had decided like last minute he was gonna participate. So we were like, okay, let's go to Northern Virginia. And that's where my parents live. And my mother's friend is um, a bridal shop owner up in Northern Virginia, up in Falls Church. The name of her shop is Rosalind's. And I highly, highly, highly recommend this bridal shop, not just because it's my mom's friend, but they are so sweet and so helpful. And they actually made the entire process so fun. Like I've never had more fun like trying on clothes. It was super fun. So, um, so we, so I ended up making an appointment to go while I was going to be home. And, um, she, so I described to her what I wanted kind of like in terms of that bold lace and she brought me a fit and flare gown to try on. And I will insert pictures of that. Um, oh my gosh, it fit me like a glove. It looked amazing. It was like this off the shoulder dress. And I didn't think fit and flare would look very good on me, but in a way with the fit and flare dresses, it kind of sucks you in and like pulls you in in all the right places. And it was awesome. Like I absolutely fell in love with this dress. Keep in mind, I hadn't, this was not national bridal sale week yet. Um, this was just like me going and trying on dresses. Um, and kind of, I had let her know, like, by the way, I'm trying to try on dresses for the national bridal sale event. She was like, just so you know, um, I don't think that you like really know what to expect with the national bridal sale, but it's basically going to be like close out dresses, um, dresses that are like sample sale dresses. Um, or um, basically discontinued dresses. And so you're gonna go into the sale and whatever they have, like say you like a dress and it's like a size two, you know, I'm clearly not a size two, but you're not gonna be able to be like, can I get this in my size? It's just, that's what it is. So um, she was like, so just so you know, just so you're aware, that's kind of like how the bridal sale works. You're not able to just like pick a dress and then get it in your size. I was like, okay, well, no big deal. Um, but anyway, so she brought me this dress that I absolutely love, tried it on and fell in love with it. And it was like $1,100, which again, like I was going more for dresses that were like $250. So it was one of those things where I was like, okay, well maybe during the sale event, I can find something similar that I like just as much because my mindset was very much just like, it's a wedding gown. Like I find a white dress. They only have so many styles of white dresses, you know, what's, you know, the big deal. I'm going to be able to find something similar or comparable that I like just as much for like $200, $250, right? So she was like, okay, well, I'll bookmark this dress for you basically. Um, if you decide that you want it, just let me know. Um, but it fits you perfectly, like you basically don't even really have to have very many alterations done. I was like, okay, I'll let you know. So fast forward, I think like three weeks after that. And me and my best friend and my son and my best friend's fiance all went wedding dress shopping at the places where I had made appointments for the national bridal sale event. And there were two shops that I went to in Lynchburg. One was Ashley Grace, which I had popped in there one day, just kind of randomly just to look at their shop. And I absolutely was like, this is where I'm gonna get my dress. It was the most beautiful shop. Um, everybody was really sweet. And so I'd made an appointment there. And then I had also made an appointment at this place called Celebration Bridal. So my appointment at Celebration was the, was before my Ashley Grace appointment on this particular day. And so this is the National Bridal Sale event and I'm like, yes, I'm so excited. I'm about to get a dress for like $200. I am so smart. This is just perfect. So I go and I'm like browsing the racks at Celebration and um, all of the dresses, like, I mean, there were dresses that I like absolutely loved that were amazing, that were exactly what I was going for, that were like obviously way too small. It was kind of like exactly what my mom's friend had said. You know, I found dresses that I loved, but they were definitely too small for me and they didn't have in my size. And then when I was like getting up to the actual dresses that were in my size, 
like I didn't like any of them. Like they were like super blinged out with like huge gemstones and just like way mega poofy, like over the top, like, like, and I'm not like a super glam kind of person. Like, I don't know, some people consider me glam. I don't consider myself like glam in any way. So um, these dresses were like over the top glam and I was just like, this is just not my thing. So anyway, I was like, well, why not just browse the other racks and see what they've got. Like maybe I don't leave here with like a National Bridal Sale event dress, but that's fine. Like, let me see what else they have. So I was browsing the racks and I saw this dress that I absolutely was like, oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this before. I'm gonna try this on. So I tried it on, I tried on this dress and I was like, I absolutely love everything about this dress. It's amazing. Um, well, I won't say everything because there were some details about the dress that I didn't like, honestly. Um, with this dress, there was kind of like this plunging deep V neckline and it was sort of like covered up by this almost like, I guess you would call it like a modesty panel, but it was like sheer. And I was not about that plunging neckline at all. And then um, the back was mega wide. So it basically came down all the way basically to my lower back and it just kind of like curved up. So basically almost like backless. And it made my back personally, because I have a very broad back, it made my back look extremely wide. But it was like this ball gown, almost like a ball gown, I guess. Um, maybe like in between ball gown and A-line. Um, and the waist was dropped just ever so slightly to where it didn't make me look like huge because sometimes the ball gown type dresses can make me look more wide. Um, but because the waist was dropped like two inches or so, it kind of did still cinch me in in the right places, but then it kind of had that volume at the bottom and it sort of like was like almost, I loved what the tool did on this dress because it was almost like this dreamy sort of a cloud trailing behind me. So it had like a slight train and it was awesome. And I was like, okay, this is it. This is a dress. I absolutely am obsessed with it. Like, and so I asked the bridal consultant, I was like, so how much is the dress? And she was like, mm, that's $2,100. So I was like, let me get this straight. I was going for a $250, $200 dress. Um, and up in Northern Virginia, I ended up with an $1,100 dress. And I was like, I can still go lower. And I went higher. I went way over budget. And I was just like, ah, uh, come again, $2,100. And she was like, yeah, but if you buy it right off the rack, it's like, you know, we'll take $300 off. So then it's like $1,800. I was like, oh my God, like that's still like not exactly what I was going for. So um, I had to really reflect on that and think about it. And I still had my appointment in Ashley Grace. And so I was like, I'm gonna go to that appointment. I'm gonna honor it. Um, and keep in mind, this bridal dress shop is like two hours away from my house. So it's not like I could just like go back the next day if I changed my mind. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna go to Ashley Grace. I'm gonna try on dresses there and then kind of see how that goes. Um, so we, we ended up going to Ashley Grace. And, um, and again, I will say, um, they did have some dresses that looked really good on me that were like maybe too big. And like the thing about like having a dress that's too big is you can always take it in. So if you end up buying a, a dress during the national bridal sale that's too big for you, that's fine because you can have it altered and it can still look amazing on you. But like if it's too small for you, like too bad, that's just kind of the set. So I found some dresses there that again were like kind of like almost too glam on me and I just didn't really like it. Um, and I couldn't get this like other dress out of my head. so. I was like, I'm just gonna go home, I'm gonna sleep on it. And um, and so I called my mom and I was like, I found this dress, um, but it's like $1,800 at best. And she was like, you're insane. You're not gonna spend $1,800. And I was like legit mad at her for like saying that. I was like, no, I want it. And I was kind of like almost being bratty, but like really like the next day I was like, she is so right. And I'm so glad that I didn't do that whole and like and I wanted this like when I was at these bridal dress shops all of these girls were like you know trying on these dresses with their friends and their moms and like sisters and everything and they'd be like you know say yes to this dress type of situation where they're basically like crying and they're like is this the one she's like yes and they like toast for champagne and I was like I want that but that's not what happened <laughs> um I basically went home and I'm very practical I'm very very practical so like let me just put that out there I'm a very practical person so for me to basically go absolutely nuts over this dress that was like way too expensive was like very not typical like me like I wouldn't do that um but I it's just like it's like this dress just like messed with my head or something so so the next day when I woke up I was like my mother's absolutely right 
I am not gonna spend that much on this dress. That is just absolutely silly. Um, so I ended up doing something a little bit different, um, which I will tell you guys about in the next video. Um, so I'm really, really excited because I did say yes to the dress, but not in the way that you would think. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my experience and what I ended up doing in the next video. Um, but kind of like the gist of this video was basically just to let you guys know that, you know, the dress that you think you want may not be the dress that you end up with. It may not be the dress that looks the best on you. Um, so try on a bunch of dresses and um, have fun with it, honestly. Like dress shopping is such a fun experience. So like why not try on a bunch of dresses and have fun? Um, really think about it because like it's a big investment. It's a big commitment. And honestly, like had I um, actually like just said yes on the spot, I think that I really would have made a huge mistake, like honestly, um, and just just sleep on it. I, you don't have to say yes to the dress right then and there, like sleep on it. I know that the allure of the whole like, oh my gosh, this is it, you know, break out the champagne, like let's drink to it, I found the dress, like that's obviously really appealing and really fun. And if you do have that experience, like power to you, that's awesome. Um, and I am definitely not knocking like any of the shops at all because they were all really wonderful shops. They had like amazing customer service. I'll link them down below. Um, it was Chantilly Lace Bridal in Blacksburg, um, Rosalind's Bridal up in Falls Church, and then in Lynchburg it was Ashley Grace and Celebration Bridal. They're all amazing shops. Um, and I'm not knocking any of those experiences because man, that's, that's fun, you know? Um, so I just kind of like wanted to touch on um, and especially the National Bridal Sale event, kind of what to expect, because I don't think that I really like knew what to expect until my mom's friend told me, like, this is kind of like what you're getting into. Um, because I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna find a $250 dress, like that's, that's just it, that's just what's gonna happen, it's gonna be super easy, like, and you know, and I'm a smart bride and that's just what I'm gonna do. Um, but I don't think it's as easy as that. I think that you have to, um, a, be open-minded, and if you're like going into it, like I really honestly don't care, I just need like a wedding dress, I just need a white dress, who cares, um, then that's a great option. Um, and I definitely think that you should look into it. It's usually like every July. And a lot of these shops, like especially Ashley Grace, will have like their fall sale, which is actually a very similar sale. They have like random sample sales. Um, so look out for things like that, If especially if you have like a specific designer in mind. I know that one month they did like a Justin Alexander sale. I think they did like maybe a Lillian West trunk show one day. So look out for things like that if you're looking for something um, a little bit more budget friendly or you wanna get something like a little bit more discounted um, and you have like a specific designer that you really like. Um, so go into it open-minded um, and do some research before you go dress shopping and kind of see what's all out there and see what kind of styles you like, see what kind of details you like, what kind of lace you like. Um, and that should really help you out when you go dress shopping. So um, love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you stay tuned for the grand finale about my dress shopping experience. And I will see you guys soon.